Hey, Double Hey, San Francisco Bay, Monterey, or wherever you are today. My name's Alex Andrew, author of Perceptive Power with AAA Neutral. Those of you who know, AAA stands for Awareness, Accountability, and Action. So let's talk a little bit about that. You want to peel away the layers and get to the root problem and then work your way up to a higher loving frequency state, happier state. And that's where this neutral line is. What is your life at the end of, end of it? Where is your life at the end of everything when your body dies off? Did you have a good life? Did you have an okay life? Of course, we're always going to say we would have done certain things better. If we hadn't, then you're the perfect child. But we always will look back and say, eh, life was okay. Or my life really sucked. Or, oh my gosh, life was so beautiful. There were so many things I wanted to do, but life was perfect for what I experienced and I'm happy with it. And I believe that. And that's the other thing. You have to start believing stuff in your own head. People say anything is possible. I know I saw a, um, a Mike Rowe video that said, hey, you know, go with your passion. Do your dreams. If you don't have that talent, it's going to be hard. Just don't get frustrated. Have an, have an avenue or a plan. If you don't have the talent or the skill for it, you can always have the belief and the desire but don't allow it to beat you down and don't allow it to kill you. Have that alternate plan to be able to work through that. I hate to say that because I don't want to put people's passions down. I do really believe you can conquer and do anything. And we've seen people that are born without arms or, or legs and can actually play instruments and, and stuff like that. But, but take your passion and just have that understanding. Be aware that you, you may not, not have the talent for doing what you want to do. Be aware and acknowledge the fact that you're going to have to work twice as hard, three times as hard, or four times as hard to get what you desire. Why? Because I have a certain limitation. And it could be something as, as little as I have no idea how to cook and I can't taste anything because I don't have taste buds. So how can you be a good cook? That would be one. Or maybe doing something as being a center on a professional NFL football team. So if that's my passion and that's what I want, I'm going to have to go way far above and beyond to figure out, first of all, not how to get killed out on the field, <laughs> but to find that aspect. And will I make it? Possibly. Probably not. But I might be able to become a center coach. Who knows? where that avenue goes. Here's the deal. I truly believe this. We need to understand our roles. We need to create our roles initially, and then we need to understand those roles and not blame other people when they seem to be standing in our way. That takes intestinal fortitude. That takes a desire, a desire to want to be and the flexibility to be able to adjust to the path that best fits your passion, your desire, and your love of what you want to do in life. My dad said one thing when he, we interviewed him on a radio show about five, six, maybe 10 years ago now. I said, Dad, you've been working, you know, 45, 50 years in the music business here. And I said, isn't it great to retire? And he said, let me tell you something, Andy. I never worked a day in my life. Every morning, I got up and I did exactly what I wanted to do. I, I still get chills when I say that. And when he initially said that to me, that's when I went, okay, I get that. I'm doing that in my own way. I'm maybe not at the peak that I want to be because... To be honest, I, I got a little lazy. I, I didn't want to work as hard to create that passion that I needed to. And I had to turn around, become aware, become accountable, and take action to be able to get myself on the radio, to be able to get myself doing something that I love, helping, helping people understand how to live a better life or at least express what helped me have a better life in hopes that it would help others. And I'm not planning on helping everybody on the planet, but if I can just help one, two, maybe three people understand things and perceive things, just perceive things a little differently so they understand how that perception brings them power in their desires, that 
is what makes my life similar to my dad's. Getting up every morning and doing exactly what I want. Not working, just doing what I desire. You can do it. You got to be flexible. You got to be aware, accountable, and take action. And you got to keep your eyes open and be determined. Do not get frustrated and never blame others. Thank you for joining me on Office Talk today. My name is Alex Andrew. Don't forget the book, Perceptive Power. You can find it at aaaneutral.com or on Amazon by Alex Andrew Lee. And stay tuned and keep your eyes sharp for the audio version because it's going to be a lot more fun. Bye-bye, everybody. Love you. Have a good night. 